To my mind, I think the scouting and recruitment within a football team is probably as important as the manager is. For me, it's, it's probably 78% of what can make up the success or failure of a football club. If you haven't got the right players to coach, if you haven't got the, you know, the right mentality of the players, and if, they haven't, if you haven't done your due diligence of them, it's, you know, it all falls down. A manager's success will be based upon the success of his team, the success of his players, and most of those players will have been at some point throughout their careers scouted. It is difficult. You look for you know, the unpolished talent, you look for the things that he does in games, which the, the Narva kid does really. There are a lot of layers to, to being able to understand how a player is going to develop, how a player will fit within a squad. Sometimes when, you, when you're looking at a young player in a street environment, in his own environment with his friends and the local club, it's, they're never going to come in straight away and get into the, the academy system where it's a little bit more rigid. The making of a good scout is, is, is very simple. It's understanding what a manager wants within the player and then seeing a raw glimpse of that within a player that can be developed. On any given Saturday, uh, in, in any given field, you'll find you know, 20 guys watching a game of football all effectively doing the same thing, but whilst they're looking at the same player, they're looking for a, for a host of different things. You look at your technique, you look at your physical, you're looking at certain mental attributes in the game, then you look at the stuff around that, you know, the character, the social. You may find that the scout's most important job as a, as a scouting an eight, nine, ten year old would be his relationship with the parents. It does give you, does give you an indica indication of the mentality of, of, of a player. They've always got a decent upbringing. I think that holds them in such good stead when they're, when they're older as well. You always look at sort of the work ethic just the way they are on the pitch, you know, they're willing to, to do a little bit more for the team, what they would do when they haven't got the ball. Most scouts can see raw talent and ability in its rawest form at whatever level, whether they're watching park football or Premier League football. When you're actually watching the player, when you're seeing what you see, your intuition, what you feel, it does play and still plays a major role, combined with all your other work. Without the scout at the bottom of the tree going to watch your Dulwich Hamlets and your Tunbridge Angels and, and, and even your park football, those players are never going to make it, they're never going to be given a chance. You're looking at maybe one, two players maximum, ideally probably one because you want to see what he does you know, around the pitch or when he's not in possession of the ball and stuff like that as well. So. It's more of a focus point, just looking at one player. A scout is focusing and honing down what he's looking for from that player. You look at you know, how good they are on the ball, the technical quality. You're looking at maybe the physicality, the athleticism as well. To me, the most important um, factor in the future success of a football club is its recruitment. Undoubtedly. If you're not going to recruit correctly or you don't recruit successfully, you're going to have to buy success. That's expensive. The significant sums mean that actually more and more work should go into scouting players at a younger age that can be developed, that the money, that the investment is in their development is not in their purchase. Mm -hmm.